Hey guys, Marlo back again with yet another 1-6 scale figure review and today I have the Mondo 1-6 scale Masters of the Universe He-Man figure. I got this figure months ago before I went on vacation. I got it through Hot Topic with one of their hot cash sales which allowed me to purchase this at about half price. Normally these 1-6 scale figures by Mondo for the Masters of the Universe line run about $150, $160 a piece, but with the hot cash sale, I was able to get it at about $80, $90, bucks, so not too bad. And so I got He-Man months ago, never did a review, and recently I just picked up the Hot Topic exclusive Skeletor. So I'll do a separate review on that, so I'll... I don't know, put a link in the description once I get that done, but in the meantime, we'll just do He-Man. And right there is the Skeletor box, just to give you a preview. Some really cool artwork there of uh, Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain. So, anyways, the uh, He-Man came in this nice shipper box within another box. So, just to give you an idea, uh, hot to not Hot Toys, but uh, Hot Topic. Uh, was nice enough to ship the figure in the shipper box within another box to keep it nice and minty. So you can see there again the great image and illustration of Castle Grayskull all around the box there. Quite interesting. Pretty cool to see that motif all the way around. And this slips off like so to reveal more nice artwork underneath. You can see there He-Man himself. And if you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of Masters of the Universe and a big collector of 1-6 scale figures, though I haven't been picking up as many 1-6 scale figures in a while. I have always wanted a He-Man and Skeletor in 1-6 scale and I'm glad that Mondo has come to the rescue. So this figure is done in a unique style. This is a regular version. I guess there's several versions out there. Um, there was an exclusive through Mondo Toys with a Skeletor head sculpt that you can interchange with the Skeletor figure. This is the regular edition, which I'm fine with. Again, I did get it at half the price, so no complaints from me. Let's see there. If you want to read that, pause the video. Again, some nice artwork there. And you could see the figure inside with all of the accessories. So without further ado, oops, let's take a closer look at that illustration real quick. Not too bad. You can see the, uh, the uh, different interpretation there of He-Man. And I'm glad to see that. I mean, I'm glad he's just not the uh, old 80s toy brought into uh, one six scale. I'm glad they kind of took a realistic approach to this figure just to make him sort of different and you know have him stand out on the shelf. Anyways let's open him up and take a closer look at the figure out of package. And here is the He-Man figure in clamshell out of the box just to give you guys an idea how he comes packaged in the clamshell. There is a separate uh, section there with the weapons as you can see. So that's how everything is packed. You can see the extra hands there. The little stand for this guy. I don't even know what his name is. The extra head sculpt for He-Man in that classic toy look. And again, the weapons. All of the weapons there. All right, let's get all of these out. And here we have He-Man out of the clamshell packaging and the uh, creature that he comes with. I guess I'm not as big a fan as I thought I was. I really don't know who this guy is. Um, did he show up in the animated series? I, I really don't recall. I don't know why the heck they included him. It would have been better if they included someone like Orko, I guess. But I don't know about this guy. You guys let me know in the comments below. Um... Anyways, moving on, you can see the extra hands that he comes with. A grasping hand there, and another one here with the trigger finger. And the same goes for the left hand. So they're pretty much identical for both left and right. And he comes again with this classic style He-Man head, which looks exactly like the old 
uh, classic Masters of the Universe He-Man head that came out back in the 80s. So that's kind of neat if you wanted to swap that out with your figure just to really get that retro look going. The weapons are really awesome. He has a whole slew of uh, weapons here. Of course his battle axe interpreted in a new way here. Looking really neat. Love the color there and the sculpt. Comes with a sword as you can see there with all kinds of nicks and battle marks. Of course what is He-Man without his power sword? And again a nice interpretation of the classic power sword with the skull motif there at the end of the hilt. That's pretty cool. The sheath for the sword which is also pretty neat and it's nice to note that they put a little bit of padding within the sides of the sheath there. It's kind of kind of hard to see but you can see a little bit there maybe but there's some padding to keep the sword from getting scraped up every time you put it in there. This is a harder plastic. You get two uh, laser guns. And I believe these were also in the classic Masters of the Universe set with the uh, Castle Grayskull rack of weapons. And of course his battle shield again interpreted a little bit differently here with different details which is pretty cool. And you have the handle piece right here for the inner shield which you have to attach. You can see the ends there that plug into these sections there. So I'll attach that in a little bit. You get the display stand which is a little bit on the plain side. Nothing going on with the stand. It's kind of interesting there at the bottom I guess for Mondo. Masters of the Universe. Oops. Would have been cool if they had something on the base there like a Castle Grayskull motif or something. And moving on to the figure itself. Let's get all these to the side. The figure is pretty cool. I thought he might just be some kind of a rotocast type figure, but he's pretty solid. Uh, decent sculpt there of the head. Not quite as realistic an interpretation as maybe a Hot Toys 1-6 scale figure, but in comparison to the normal, you know, Masters of the Universe, uh, what is it, 5 inch or 6 inch line of figures. This is definitely a cool, more realistic interpretation. He has leather straps there. I mean, these are sculpted on, but the design is quite different from the classic He-Man that had more of like metallic uh, gauntlets. He has this leather material actually, but this leather uh, loincloth type thing. A different type of belt there. Of course he has the leather type straps around the boots. Again these are just sculpted on there. Actual fur which is kind of neat. And of course his classic uh, harness there with the symbol. So you can't have He-Man without that. That's quite iconic of He-Man. And I don't know if the swords can attach to the back somehow. Would have been cool if uh, they did something so that you can stick the sword in the back. I'll see if they incorporated that somehow. Get a quick look at the figure all around. Just giving you guys a look at the sculpt and everything. Again, the head sculpt. Not too bad. I might go in there and customize it a little bit with some other details. And I noticed under the loincloth it looks like he has the classic fur uh, undies under there. And I think I might prefer that look actually. So 
Uh, let me see if I can get that going. Uh, let me move all this other stuff to the side. I think he comes apart at the waist. Like so, and there you go. Yep, the classic undies. Oh, okay. you've got to be careful there. You can as assemble them back together. Oh, shoot, sorry. Where'd he go? Okay. There he goes. Just got to squeeze them back together like so. And you can kind of get more of that classic He-Man look with the trunks there. All right. So we'll move on and take a closer look at his articulation. All right, so as far as articulation, you get this swivel at the shoulders as well as that motion. So pulls at the lower deltoid there. Single join at the elbow. Mine's a bit tight, but yeah, you can get that to move. And of course, rotation at the hands. And those can plug in and out. You get articulation at the upper chest like that. Ball joint at the head. Of course, the waist kind of has a little bit of rotation there from the ball joint. Again, that pops out. Got to make sure I secure that. <laughs> uh, ball joint sockets at the legs. And double joints there at the knees. So good range of motion. Swivel at... Let's see. I think they're swivel. Yeah. Whoa. Let's see. Swivel. Now there's also swivel there at the knees. I don't know about this point. It seems to be stuck on mine. But let's see. You get some pivot at the ankles at least. And I'm thinking there's swivel here. But it's just stuck on mine. So maybe not. Maybe not. I'll try to work on that. But at least you do get the swivel there at the knees. Uh, so that's more or less it as far as articulation with this guy. Again, I don't know. I'm kind of digging this classic look here with the undies. But let me throw the leather loincloth thing back on and give you a look at him with his accessories. And here is a look at the figure with the classic style head with the weapons on there just to kind of get that classic look going again with the trunks and that old style head which I don't know it's reminiscent of the old head but it just does not match with the body the body for one thing is a lot more lean than the classic figures I mean he's more proportionate and realistic so uh, I think this head sculpt suited the bulkier, stubbier look of the classic figures. And I don't know, it just looks really odd with this body. So let me swap out the heads. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Uh. Okay, pretty easy swap there. And that is... The new head on um, the body there looking pretty cool. I think that looks much better, much more suited to this new interpretation of He-Man. Again, a little bit more leaner looking. And uh, yeah, just an updated interpretation looking a lot cooler. So, oh yeah, let me put that... Uh, loincloth leather type thing back on and give you guys a look at that version and here we have he-man again with that leather loincloth type thing back on him again showing a more i don't know updated look i suppose to the figure i don't know i like to think of it as maybe a uh, movie version of he-man something they'd probably go for if they did a uh, live action type movie i think that would work a little bit better than the uh the uh, furry underwear type thing that he had on with the toy figures. So again, looking pretty cool. And 
I was able to get the sword attached. There are some uh, little attachments there, as you can see, that hook onto the back of the harness. So that's pretty cool. So you can stick the power sword there at the back of the figure, just as I have there. And again, just a pretty cool figure overall. The stand, ah, the stand could be a little bit better. Let's see if I can get them on there once again. Got all this junk on the table as well. Ah, anyways, I'll hold them up for now. <clears throat> so again, a pretty cool figure. Again, for about 80, 90 bucks, I think it's not a bad deal. Uh, glad to have it in the collection. So uh, stay tuned for my review of the 1-6 scale Mondo Skeletor coming up next. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick video unboxing and review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Take care, guys. As always, keep on collecting, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.